Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to today's uh, Bitcoin update for Monday, 25th of July. All right, so here we are once again with a new story, with a new charts, with a new candle printing out pretty much, okay? And it's time for the truth to be told. It's time to understand what is about to happen. So pretty much this is going to be a very detailed update. And uh, I actually have to carefully, carefully go through with this one right now at the moment. So there are some few patterns that are getting destroyed. Now, number one, if I do dive in into the one hour time frame, uh, yesterday I actually saw this uh, inverse head and shoulder. And you can see that inverse head and shoulder was supposed to take you up to $23,500. But you came down, destroyed the right shoulder, the end of it came down. And it seems like this is really, really something fishy, all right? So I told you uh, in the previous videos, as long as we're above $21,500, we are still good, okay? We're still good. New week has started. Monday has started with a bang with some red to the downside, and they've actually clicked the sell button at the moment, and they've actually pushed the price to the downside, right? So... It's pretty much very clear that uh, the prices are gonna uh, are trying to move lower, but we are still being supported at the moment. Okay, we are kind of being supported right now. It's not like we are out of the war uh, of, of the woods just yet. We're not out of the woods, but we're about to get out of the woods as well. And it's time to be actually kind of carefully, uh, you know, careful right now at the moment. Okay, today's Monday and this whole seven days okay this whole week is going to be super important and normally you know i had different plans you know i was expecting this uh this thing to hold this retest to actually hold but it seems like it's a very weak retest and it has been destroyed at the moment so that's not a good sign okay and it seems like there are different plans there is no uptrend that is about to come up to the problem with this one is that I was expecting a bull flag to actually play out and this bull flag never really played out the thing is that you lost it okay so you never even broke out of it so from there to there you're looking for that bull flag it was supposed to move like this but now that you're moving like this that's not a good sign okay that is really not a good sign on top of that you're really destroying the <clears throat> inverted hammer as well so that's another sign that this is not a good move now you ladies and gents you're about to get into this consolidation box once again one two three four break out come for the retest fake out and probably in the next seven days you're looking for this thing to come down here and probably move down there okay and this could be the end of it this could be the trap to the upside and then we go to the downside and i have so many reasons to still believe that this can happen it can definitely happen okay that can definitely happen we do have bitcoin technical target to fourteen thousand dollar because of a pattern we do have technical targets to the downside and the biggest thing that i'm looking forward to is the monthly so the monthly is what is bothering right so three black crows uh, that kind of a you know doji right there and you have six days 20 hours to close the monthly and that's why I do say that this whole month is so bloody damn important at the moment okay you do have three black crows that are sort of a green candle right there and you might just look to continue to move even way more to the downside okay as long as you're just above uh, $21,500 that's gonna be probably okay but if you actually start to fall below $21,500 then that's gonna be the problem so scenario number one is you do know that I've talked about three black rows that when you have three red candles back to back you actually make a false push to the upside and then you start to move to the downside and continue with the downtrend so that's the biggest hint that August can be a very bloody month, okay? August can actually end up being a very red month to the downside again, right? And I wouldn't be surprised, and I'm going to warn you about this one, as because by the end of the day, the logic side of, of this pattern is that you have three red candles, and they mean continuation of a trend to the downside. Especially, uh, the monthly closing is super important. If you end up in a bull, you know, inverted hammer, one scenario, if you end in an inverted hammer 
and you make one big bullish candle back up to like 42,000 in August alone, then you're actually putting in a bullish ladder bottom and then you can start trading Bitcoin and that potentially will be the bottom of Bitcoin and if, if it starts to come up and break this level and that's where I do think uh, the proper uptrend is going to start, right? Because you're going to be putting in a reversal candlestick on a monthly time frame. Have you done that? You, you haven't done that. As a matter of fact, for, for that to happen, you're going to have to wait for the whole 36 days, this the ending of this month and uh, the whole month next month as well, okay? So this is the monthly thing that I want to see. Six days, 20 hours is really important. Now, normally I do say that week weekends are dumpy and weekdays are good, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, potentially, uh, you know, this week can still be amazing. But we have to be very, 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 very careful at the moment. It might be that this Tuesday doesn't pump. Okay, it cannot. It can also be that the Tuesday that we're talking about doesn't really pump, and that's the reason being is number one. <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is uh, remove all the drawings once again, and what I'm going to do is bring back the charts here. And this is a resistance line that you're actually falling under at the moment. So let's bring that resistance once again. And uh, boom, here we go, right? Just like that. I just want to make this trend line to be the perfect looking trend line. And uh, here we go, right? So you're about to actually fall below this line over here. Actually, right, right at it, you're really at the support. Who knows? Tomorrow is Tuesday. You can actually bounce off this level and start to move higher. But there's a problem here, which I think you're not going to be doing that because you have made this little bit of a uh, bearish pattern right there, which is almost like a, you know, sideways bearish rectangle pattern. And I do see that Bitcoin might be interested to actually come down to this level, which is actually going to be $20,619. And that is not good. That is not good at all. So Monday started, so the next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is going to be super important of how Bitcoin does. Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursday, okay? If in these three days you end up breaking down and consolidating like this to the sideways, then understand that the weekends might probably go down. And by the start of the next month, you might shoot all the way to the downside again right because you do have three black rows so that this is what i'm thinking of listen you have six days to open up a new month you have six days for this pattern okay within six days what you do is you actually go down like that and you continue in the next six days to continue to go down in these six days not only do you lose that uh, by this weekend this the, the weekend coming now you actually come below this level in the next six days so that actually prepares the month of august to be really ugly so you're gonna have that push to the upside back to twenty thousand two hundred thirty three dollars and then boom continue with the downtrend and this is gonna be the fake out final thing trap you know trap them and then go down because bitcoin loves to trap a lot it's gonna always trap it always loves to trap like in here move sideways move up trap people come down trap people again move to the downside go sideways go up trap people move to the downside anytime they actually want to trap you they actually push the prices to the upside i'm just watching what i see based on history because they can trap you multiple times you know uh in here as well they actually went down trap boom sideways trap boom sideways trap boom so something can this can repeat again okay so the next six days probably this tuesday wednesday and thursday you might not pump especially tomorrow can actually define the whole factor if by if tomorrow somehow you actually bounce off this area and you make a bullish engulfing candlestick and go back to twenty two thousand seven hundred dollars then I reckon you're going to actually pump to the upside. Then that's going to be uh, the favorable scenario for me to say that, okay, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are going to happen. But we're going to see how Tuesday really behave. Then Tuesday is going to really set the tone for Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday. And then Saturday, Sunday is going to be the killer days. And that's it for today's update on Bitcoin. I'm going to see you in the next one. I love this.